Hi there. I have a deja vu as I do this trap because I'm sure I have covered it already somewhere, somehow. Anyway, this is the barely legal trap in the Philidor. It sounds a little salacious, but nothing of the sort. After e4, e5, knight f3, black plays the Philidor defense with d6. After bishop c4, black tries bishop g4, pinning that knight on f3. After knight c3 and knight c6, h3 asks a question to the bishop, trade or run, and the bishop drops back to h5, maintaining that pin on the knight, but important to stress that this is a relative pin, and this trap goes to underscore the limitations of a relative pin, since white now can capture knight takes on e5. Well, if bishop now takes the queen, then we've got the legal mate with bishop takes on f7, check, king e7, and knight d5 is checkmate, the legal theme. Now, if after knight takes e5, black becomes wise to that and knows that bishop takes queen is going to lose, well, if pawn takes the knight, then queen takes bishop, white's doing well, a clear pawn up. If black tries knight takes on e5, thinking, wow, that's not bad, because the knight now is hitting the bishop on c4, it's still no good for black. After queen takes h5, knight takes on c4, looking good for black, but queen b5 check is going to pick up that knight. So this has been the barely legal trap in the Philidor. Hope you found it interesting and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.